welcome to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I am the owner of The Millie Life channel and The Millie Life. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am so excited you're here. If you're new here, I post new motorcycle videos every Thursday and new exercise videos every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you do not miss out. If you like more of The Millie Life, follow us on all the social medias. We'd love to have you there. It's The Millie Life, all one word. Check it out. Today, we are talking about affirmations. And more specifically, general affirmations, but affirmations for the badass motorcycle community. Woohoo, what's up? So let's jump right in. Right, guys if you have seen some of my new Millie Life apparel stickers sweatshirts t-shirts those are available at the link below check them out would love to see you guys rocking your Millie Life tees today we are talking about affirmations and more specifically affirmations for the motorcycle community what in the hell is an affirmation well, they are I am statements or statements that are said about yourself in the present tense. They are changes that you would like to see in yourself, you'd like to see in your world, and they can be spoken to yourself in a mirror. You can write them down, you can say them out loud, you can just think them in your head. Affirmations are a fantastic way to start taking off those dark lenses and to see the world differently, but also to start to bring abundance into your life. And abundance doesn't only have to be abundance in money or prosperity in money. It can be abundance in time, that you always have the time to do what you need to do and get done what you want and need to get done. So like, you know, I am abundant in time. I always have more than enough time to get everything I want to get done and more. That's a great affirmation for abundance in time. It could be abundance in money, right? I am abundant. I bring in money or let's see. I am abundant, money flows to me easily and effortlessly, and I bring more money into my life than I could have ever possibly imagined from sources that are beyond my consciousness, all right? Or I'm just abundant, I'm abundant in money. Um, love, right? Love life, family, whatever love it is, I'm abundant in love. I exude love and those around me love and cherish me. Um, so there's lots of different examples of that. Um, you know, abundance in family, abundance in time, abundance in money, love, success. For my YouTubers out there, I am abundant in my YouTube blogging. I'm abundant on my YouTube channel. I generate an income from my YouTube channel and I could not be more excited and more grateful. And they don't have to be this long, they can be short. I am abundant on my YouTube. And the big thing about them is, is the feelings that come behind them. And what you'll, you want to say them with a lot of feeling and a lot of emotion, right? Like you believe in them and that, you know, you're feeling like you're already that person or you're, you're already at that goal or whatever it is that you were trying to affirm. Now the human brain, we are wired to survive. Right? And that survival brain looks at the world in the most worst case scenario because it's trying to keep us alive. And as humans have evolved and our survival instincts and tactics aren't needed, 
day to day in our life <laughs> that is involved into the negative thinking. And, you know, it's, so it's worrying about every little thing that may go wrong that could potentially kill us. And it may not, you may not consciously think on that level, but if you take a look at some of your thoughts and really unwrap them, that's what, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see a common thread of, you know, that fear of, of death and wanting to sustain your life and your children's and your families and friends and all of that. So that's where that negative thinking, it comes from. It's part of human nature. And we do need that survival brain, right? You know, if we're getting chased by a bear, which Matt ran into a bear this morning when he was on his bike, going down the road and probably up where the tree line starts, he said there was a giant black bear just staring at him. So that those situations, that's where you need those survival instincts to kick in but we tend to use them in everyday life with everything and that's where a lot of anxiety and depression can originate and come from so if we start to replace those thoughts with um, positive affirmations or the life that we do want to unfold that we do want to happen then we're going to start to see those changes to start to unfold and take place in our life and a lot of this information, a lot of um, my ideas and my awareness of affirmations came from listening to podcasts. Um, so actually it's not a podcast, it's a YouTube video. Louise Hay, she owns, she's the owner and founder of Hay House. Um, they're a publishing house. Um, all about spreading love and awareness and awakening the world through positive thinking. But a lot of her affirmations, if you look those up on YouTube, great source. Um, I've talked about Amanda Francis before. She is self-titled the money queen and she has a lot of affirmations about money and discusses and digs into our relationships with money because it is a relationship just like with anything else. Um, great source of just different perspectives on how different ways to look at things through life. Um, the two books that I recommended, two of my favorite books, You're a Badass by Jensen Zero and um, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Those are great supporting literature for affirmations as well. Um, but I think one of the, the part and most important ones and what all of those authors, you know, you've got doctors, you've got business owners, you've got entrepreneurs, all of those people, they all speak to loving yourself. So that's an affirmation that is a great one to start with. I love myself. I am a badass. Right? Because the better you feel, the more you love yourself, the more you can share that with others, right? It's the whole idea of not being able to pour from an empty cup. If you don't love yourself and take the time to take care of you, you're not going to be able to pour into others, much less yourself. And that brings us to motorcycles, right? What an awesome source of self-care and passion and taking care of you. And the motorcycle community gets a bad rap. Every time you tell somebody you have a motorcycle, they're either going to share a story with you about somebody they know that crashed on a motorcycle or got severely hurt, right? And how they stopped riding. And so I feel like affirmations are incredibly important for everyone, but especially motorcyclists. So things like I am always safe on my bike. I am protected and looked after when I'm on two wheels. I share and love the joy of riding a motorcycle with everyone I meet. And I am always protected. I am safe. So just kind of like a little mantra. You may even, you know, if you're religious, you may look at it like a prayer. Um, if you're not religious, look at it more like an affirmation. However you want to look at it, honestly. I just freaking love them. It definitely is amazing to sit and to look at, um, this is going to try to take me down a gravel road again. I don't know where it wants me to go. This is it. Okay. Nobody behind us. No through truck. So it looks like a gravel. Or not gravel. It looks like a paved road. So let's go with it. But those are great 
affirmations to do while you're riding um, or before you ride or just on a daily basis because I would love to change that perception of motorcycles because they're freaking fun to ride and they're a great way to take care of yourself they're a great way to meditate and I, I, I think a lot of it has to do with your riding skills and your how you think and look at it I am always safe when I'm on two wheels. My loved ones are always safe when they're on two wheels, right? So let's try to start to shift the way that we think about it and how we take care of ourselves. Affirming that every car sees you on the road and instead of talking and affirming into existence that nobody sees you on the road or whatever it might be. All of the animals I see when I ride stay in the woods. <laughs> oh, I mean, cause man, how much wildlife have you guys seen when you're out on your bike? Like I think the craziest thing I've seen is that turkey. <laughs> Just like your Thanksgiving day, presidential pardon, like that kind of size turkey seriously jumped across the road once and into a tree. <laughs> I mean, if you Google affirmations, you can get a whole list. And this is a, this is something that I try to do every day. It, it probably happens 60 to 70% of the time, which is way better. Just think of it like the food that you're fueling your mind with and you want it to be good food versus rotten, moldy, you know, negative self-talk. I'm um, also going to put together my own voice recording of affirmations. Sometimes it's just nice to have on in the background um, and not necessarily a super, super conscious thing that you're doing, but to be just feeling, filling your mind with positive things versus a lot of the negative, which we get a good dose of in the news, talking to other people, all right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And I love getting your feedback. Um, I would love to hear more about what you guys want to see and hear on this channel. What do you want to know? i um, excited to, for you guys to be here and excited for where this channel is going. So, oh, we've got a, yep, go back in the woods. <laughs> it looks like a beaver? Otter? No, otters don't come out of the water. Groundhog, I guess? I don't know what that was. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today. My name is Danielle. Woo! This is the Millie Life. And until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. This is a cool road.